Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will discuss about how you can control the speed of a BLDC motor using 6 tip commutation method or you can say the trapezoidal commutation technique. So basically as we all know that a 3 phase BLDC motor generates a 3 phase AC voltages or we can say back EMF when it rotates and this 3 phase power is fed through a 3 phase inverter circuit. Using the switching circuitry we can control the speed of a BLDC motor and obviously we know that the speed is directly proportional to the voltage. So by controlling the input voltage of the inverter circuit we can control the speed of a VLDC motor. Mainly in this 6 step commutation technique we apply 120 degree conduction mode to generate the switching sequences. So here in the 3 phase inverter circuit the 6 switches are used in operation. So in 120 degree conduction mode every switch will operate for 120 degree only. Using this switching sequences we can operate the inverter switches and control the motor speed and in this case we will generate the switching pulses using the sector representation technique and previously in space vector PWM technique I have already discussed that what is the sector representation so uh, in the diagram also you can see that how the sectors are formed and this is the switching pulses which are given to the switches and here basically 1 represents on and 0 represents off. In the MATLAB design, here you can see a BLDC model. The BLDC model is created by using the state equations. So I will put this design file in the description box. You can get it from there. So uh, from the BLDC model, we are getting the 3 phase current, back EMF, motor speed that is denoted by omega and the theta e. We can say this is the rotor angle or the rotor position. Mainly for a speed control we need two parameters that is speed which is denoted by omega and the rotor angle which is theta e. The gate pulses are generated from the rotor position only. So here you can see the theta given to this block. Uh, so theta is in the radian value. Then the radian is converted into the degree and then by using this we are forming the sectors that is for 0 to 60 uh, we are denoting as a sector 1 from 60 to 120 this is sector 2 sector 3 as well as sector 5 and 6 in the space vector modulation technique already you know that how the sectors are formed after that we are giving the gate pulses according to the sectors a b c is denoted for the upper switches and a dash b dash and c dash is for the lower switches this is nothing but a constant block and here we are using the multiport switch and then this gate pulses is given to the three phase inverter circuit so here this is a three phase inverter circuit so before going to it basically our main purpose is to control the speed of a VLDC motor so obviously for closed loop control we need the actual speed or we can say the output speed and obviously we have to give a reference speed as well and in the reference speed we are giving for zero it is starting from 1000 rpm and after 0 0.5 second it is step up to the 2000 rpm so basically here we have used a pi controller circuit and after the error minimization this cs we can say the control signal is given to the controlled voltage source so this is a controlled voltage source our DC link voltage is 500 volt initially so you can get all these blocks from the simulink and in between this 
at 0.2 seconds we just put on a load torque to the VLDC motor initially the load torque is 0 but after 0.2 seconds so we are putting on 2 Newton meter load torque to the VLDC motor so let's see after running the simulations how the speed is actually controlled So you can see from the graph so initially here uh, is a distortion but after some 0.02 seconds 0.002 seconds it is absolutely constant to 1000 rpm and after 0.2 seconds there is a sudden drop in the speed because of we are applying the load torque so we know that after applying the load torque obviously the speed will decrease and and due to equilibrium condition the electromagnetic torque is supposed to catch the load torque so that is why the speed is again increases to 1000 rpm and after 0.5 seconds we are giving the reference value as a 2000 rpm and you can see that after 0.55 or 56 seconds it is absolutely stable at 2000 rpm so obviously our control circuit is absolutely working fine let's see our back emfs so you can see there are three phase trapezoidal waveforms or a phase b phase and c phase and this is our stator current waveforms so you can see that after 0.2 seconds when we increases the load torque there is a increment in the stator current obviously current will increase according to the increment in the load torque as well as in the electromagnetic torque and obviously after 0.5 seconds the speed is increases so as well as the current is also increases So this is how you can control the BLDC motor using 6 step commutation technique. If you like this video, please hit the like button for latest video update. Subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.